Hello everyone! Are you ready for another adventure? It's time for another spooky night of 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm Wokey and I'm here with Toast. I'm Mr. Bones! And he's Mr. Bones. And we're playing as Mr. Bones, as Mr. Grim. Ah, oh, you, you son of a bitch! He was right behind me <laughs> shooting me! I need him to uh, give... Get shot, Bozo. Bozo, oh my god. Mr. Bonezo. More like it. Bone Bonezo. Okay. Yeah, but Carmageddon and stuff like that, uh, <laughs> picking off from where the last video ended off, usually if you had a video game in which you ran people over with a car, that was enough for some people. That was enough to be an entire genre, and it just doesn't stack up anymore. <laughs> you can't just release a yeah. game. That's just like a feature in Grand Theft Auto. That car just completely <laughs> fucking, like, Pele it sold really that. It really is. Alright, let me get this, because I think it's a power-up? Okay. I still don't think I've ever just sat down and played a GTA game. Just to play a GTA game? Yeah. I um, had four on PC, but I think we all know how Games for Windows Live turned out. Oh, even yeah. Even through Steam. So I didn't bother. Yeah. I never bought five. I haven't played any of the PS2 games. Oh, that's a... I, I would say that's kind of a... Sh I mean, there are some good GTA games. They A little bit of them can kind of feel like, eh, it kind of depends on your mood and stuff like that, but they are very impressive. Have you ever played Red Dead? No, actually. Man, Red Dead's so good. Did that guy just jump into my car and blow himself up? Oh, c come on, Mr. Grimbones. I need you to not fucking job. I need you to not <laughs> lose. There we go, some health. Oh, nice health pickup. Alright, I think this open area would be enough. Uh, but Red Dead's really good, is what I'm saying here. Red Dead 1 and Red Dead 2. Red Dead 2 might be one of the best games of that generation, if we were still doing generation denominations. Ah! That guy shot. I know... There is some... Is... Was it that Red Dead 1 is getting, like, ported? I know it's not getting remade. People are mad about that. Yeah, no, no. They, they um... They're just re-releasing it for like 60, 70 bucks on new consoles without any upgrades. Yeah. Which is like, uh, yeah, Red Dead is really good. I'm not sure it's that good where you yeah. can get away with this. You know, it's hard it is. It... buy a port of a 360 game in 2023. Apparently so. Though, if for you could. $60. But if you could find the 360 version, you could just play that because there's, um,. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Where backwards compatibility between the between the two, so you could just easily if you actually still had a copy of your 360 version of Red Dead and popped it into your Xbox One or whatever the fuck Xbox is on right now, um, it works. And you can just play it. I actually do have both my 360 and my One X. Die. Uh, yeah, there you go. I'd... You'd be able to. I mean, that's the that's probably the coolest feature on there. That's the only way. I wasn't way. <sighs> planning to get a One X, but I did. You just kind of happened cost to get me five dollars. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about where Microsoft is at at the moment. I mean, uh, well, actually, very rare. To, I haven't. I don't know anyone else that has. I won one of the Taco Bell Xboxes. You did? Oh, I think we've yes. talked about this before. I think I probably have, because I know that was at least before I left Twitter, so I probably posted about it at one point, but... I mean, yeah, in general, if it was Taco Bell related, you would have talked to it about me, about it with me. Yeah. But it was, like, some late Friday night in college. I lived right next to a Taco Bell. I didn't have a kitchen in my dorm, and the dining halls were closed, so I was like, screw it, we're going to Taco Bell. This is exactly how Walked most people over. end up going to Taco Bell. Yeah, and walked over, got a $5 box, and had a code on the side. I start texting it, and it's like, oh, hey, you won. Click here to submit your information. I'm like, this is probably like a free taco or something. You know, I know McDonald's Monopoly, how that shit works. Yep. No, I got an Xbox One X <laughs> with a, an Elite 2 controller that somewhat doesn't function as well anymore. Perfect. Quality control on those were really bad, but... I got those two, and I got like six months of Game Pass uh, Ultimate. Ooh. That's probably the most fancy thing on there, because they're literally just giving you a console and then giving you a bunch of play games to actually play on it. Yeah. 
Uh, I got that all for five bucks. Uh, I, th I think the greatest thing is the Xbox does make the Taco Bell noise when you turn it on. <laughs> yes! Oh, are you kidding me? That sounds like the I, I, greatest. I have a clip of it if you throw it in. Yes, you can put it in. I will gladly put it in here just to put all it right, in there. That's hilarious. I'll send hilarious. you the clip afterwards. I know how to find it. Now, if I stay here long enough, the health will respawn and I can just get health again. Because I'm uh, looking a little low here. I'm just going to run over these scientist dudes. Oh! can't believe no one else is here with me. I'm just alone here running over people. you think eventually the AI would figure out, like, hey... <laughs> maybe? Yo, this dude's farming pickups. Get his ass. <laughs> They just have that realization, like, yo, this dude's got three stocks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it is that exact same realization. Uh, oh, oh fuck! Realized. I'm out of here. No, leave me alone. <laughs> I just want to heal in peace. I am dying. I only have one life left. Oh my god. Okay, he's not behind me anymore, right? Okay, no. Oh god, unironically using the live Mr. Bones reaction. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, back to early. I'm somewhat actually kind of excited for the new Dragon Ball series. It's, it's Dragon Ball content. I'll take what I can get, right? I mean, I believe that is the two sides of it, is either you are uh, unable to get the Dragon Ball that you wanted, which is the super... Oh, rawr, 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 rawr. I'm going Super Saiyan uh, Dos Blancos, or you're getting uh, just something that looks like a fun Dragon Ball experience. <laughs> and for some people, they would prefer to just have some Dragon Ball. And for Especially other people, if it's gonna be more inspired by like classic Dragon Ball, then sure, I'm I'm down. Yeah, in theory, that sounds perfectly fine. Uh, yeah. It looks also pretty nice from what I can see. They decided to, even though I did like the 3D in um, a Dragon Ball Super Hero. 2D just makes most the most sense for me for yeah uh, for this and kind of stuff. And people are like people are like upset that it's not like super part two, but like, is there even really enough content to justify it? No, there is not. There is also because when we people have complained to start about with two movie rehashes and remember how well those went the first time. Yeah, that that does not go well. There was barely anything for Super as in general. It's always really funny because. I swear to God, the only thing I've ever seen about Super are people complaining about Super. You gotta be kidding me right now. Where the fuck is this guy shooting me from? There we go. <laughs> Even on easy, I this game is just not... Yeah. yeah. I only have issue with the rehashes, which I think Battle of Gods was okay. It did some things better, yeah. but not a lot. Uh, We're not gonna act like Resurrection F was good. No. No. It, I, it, I, it only gets worse because it was... I don't even think the movie like, was good. No, the movie is okay in a movie form, but then when you actually try and extend it, it becomes much worse. Yeah. It's one of those. The good thing it did was bring Frieza back. I was talking. It had that scene where it goes Frieza, Frieza. <laughs> Everyone's favorite scene, <laughs> the one where the dudes who did the Death Note of uh, Ed showed up. Yeah. I think it was actually an OP. Never mind. I don't, I actually don't I remember I, which one they I did. I think if if people want another like set of super arcs we're gonna need more manga content first yeah and to be fair people also complain about that manga so yeah oh god so we'll see speaking of good stuff coming up reload looks really good reload does look good i can't wait for reload as a lot of people have been who... i will probably end up taking some time off from work that just like following oh. week <laughs> i'm still debating whether or not i want to try and do it on the channel um a long time ago a uh, very long time ago when i had a lot more free time i was doing a persona 3 psp um yeah i remember that that one but it was also on hard it was like on the hardest setting because that is if you play the psp version it has a new because you had party control they added a brand new harder setting than any other setting in um, either Persona games, uh, and I was playing on that difficulty, and that difficulty, every single fight was a fight for my life. 
Even with party every, control. Every fight in P3 always felt like a fight for your life. Yeah, and so imagine P3 made it slightly more easier, but then included a mode that made it basically like if <laughs> it was you were playing original uh, Persona 3, but with party control. And that is the new difficulty that they put in there. So I was playing it on that, and it was uh, a nightmare trying to climb Tartarus, so... Uh, I wonder if I would be able... I would like to do something to go in there, but at the same time, I would also just like to play the game. That yeah. was the the other reason why I haven't gone back I to... I think if you do it, do it for when, like, you're doing, like, a second run through down the line. Yeah, I think that would probably be for the best, to be honest. Because I think the main thing is, especially if you're going to do, like, a Persona game... That's a hundred hours right there. It is, and then honestly, at some point, it's better to do a live, like a like a Twitch thing of it. But I don't. Yeah. And I, I'm always so iffy with Twitch stuff when it comes to JRPGs and stuff, because I also am a big fan of just like video stuff. You know. Yeah, no, I get you. It's just hard because especially a long ass game like that, you either have to like have a lot of free time for it, or that has to be like your job. Yeah, and this is not my job. And I and occasionally I do have to remember to uh, do Fago videos because <laughs> that's the the main driving force for the channel that helps the channel out a whole bunch that allows me to do stuff like this. Uh, that's a game I haven't kept up with. It's still pretty good. It's still a gotcha game though. <laughs> yeah, I'm still gotcha retired. The only one I've ever considered returning to is Dokkan, but I don't want to. Oh my god, Dokkan was its own is its own set of weirdness to it. But it's also uh, I the actually that's a lie. The other one is Puzzle and Dragons. I love that game. Puzzle and Dragons is pretty good. It's a solid game, especially because they dress up the dragon as the thing that you're pulling for. I've yeah. always thought that was a nice touch. I'm still wondering who the hell made a Trunks and Broly duo part. <laughs> that's the funniest shit I've seen. And the, you know what the funniest part is? Is that uh, that thing is going LR. Yeah. It's only at TUR at the moment. I remember seeing, like, the... Because I, I, I think I saw some clip on, like, TikTok. I saw, like, the start of the active skill, and I just see, like... What was his name? Paragus? Paragus. I see, like, him sitting there with, like, Raditz and Nap, and I'm <laughs> like, what the heck? These were never... These three were never together. Is this some, like... Yeah, it's nah. <laughs> you would think the a lot of people thought it was a meme because there's been a dude in making I Paragus edits. I thought it was edits. a fake meme at first. Yeah, because there there has been a dude in the Dokkan side making Paragus edits of meme like <laughs> videos of like Paragus being like the main big strong driving force in Dokkan. Like whenever there's a new <laughs> LR, they figure out a way to put Paragus into it. That's and a amazing. lot of I. Mm hmm. I was gonna say, but then I cut to like the trunks and Broly. I was like, this has to be fake. It's real. Yeah, it is one hundred percent real. It is the realest that real can be. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, it is. Funny how says. Oh, you tried to hide. Nice try. Oh God. Die. No mercy. Goodbye, crazy eight. Yes, four enemies left, baby. Then hopefully we can get some more story from Mr. Bones, unless I die right before then, which is also a possibility. Nice try. You're trying to leave me. Ah! Oh, God. I wish I wasn't so shit at video game driving. <laughs> there we go. Brimstone, gone. Ah! Oh, thank God. If these dudes just... Thank you. As long as these dudes run directly into my special, they can't beat me. Because my special deals like half their health and damage. Nobody can defeat my special move. <laughs> my special move of shooting them with what looks like to be a giant sickle. Yeah, there he is. Oh, and I have the upgraded twisty rockets. Oh, that guy has to have died. I refuse I to. Like oh, much, roadkill yeah. gone! Boop, 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 boop. Oh god, and he's shooting me. Am I really about to waste a life to try and kill this guy? Oh, the way that he was able to turn back. It's not fair. Alright, we have one life and two dudes left. So toast. I believe in... Oh, are you yeah, kidding me? Like... Alright, we're all together at this point. It's a smorgasbord. <laughs> yes, perfect. Ah, oh, damn it. I ran out of special. 
Oh, and he's got a laser beam. Die, die, die. Nice. Whew. I, you win. Thank you for the amazing fucking windscreen. <laughs> After the fight of my life for the past 30 minutes, I get a borderline... Now, uh, now you can take a trip to the stay hospital. <laughs> <laughs> the stay stay hospital. Mr. Grimm in the suburbs. All right, let's see if we can I've unlocked more. Highway loop or downtown? We just... We're on a freeway. I think we gotta go downtown, you know. Downtown have a few drinks murder people let's see what mr grim has to say has to say to us i have to stay focused on the fight but every dead body i see brings back the cravings have i gone insane <laughs> <laughs> nah mr it's it's them it's not you <laughs> ah all right go oh, i got my special go yes Oh, I'm I'm so amazing at this. He's dead. He's dead. You're dead. Leave. Die. You cannot. I refuse to lose his life and not have killed you. <laughs> You'll get him. Dude, just ah, I'm on fire. I have I have to give up the ghost. Damn it! Aww. Some fucking dude showed up out of nowhere. All right, it's fun. We're back in here. Uh, live, Mister. Why Bray. am I getting ping? Don't they know I'm watching the most important <laughs> game of all time? Exactly, don't they know? Take that old lady on the streets. I'm sorry, I don't want to do an ultimate raid right now. You can't. Yeah, exactly. What the? I, we were. I specifically picked this time because you you were. We were pretty sure you wouldn't have to do an ultimate raid. Yeah. No. Uh, my. I'm not. My static isn't starting for like at least a few weeks. That's just like a random. Hey, I need help. Oh, okay. Anyone okay. that's willing. Got you. Anyone who's willing, ready, and able. I am not. Oh, stupid giant truck. Ah! Oh, I'm just one little man. I'm just one bony, crazy person trying to fight for my life. And I've just been frozen. Oh, fucking Sweet Tooth getting his dumb ass right in front of me. There we go. That had to have killed him. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, what the fuck was that? He like backed it up. Oh shit, you got two that are like one hit here. Oh, thank god Darkseid has been destroyed. That's exactly how it happened in Man of Steel as well. Even though he <laughs> didn't fight him in Man of Steel. I'm gonna trust you because I didn't watch that movie. <laughs> you didn't have the four hours to watch uh, Justice League uh, This Time We'll Do It Right edition? No, I think... I watched uh, I, I watched Batman's v Superman, and that's like the only like modern DC live action I've watched. Are you, uh, you know, it was it wasn't a great pick. I don't think it's as bad as people say it is, but it's it's not great. I didn't. Know, I remember seeing it for the because uh, I saw a pre-release cut of it, and I remember liking it then. And then of course, it it is not probably what most people would have wanted out of a, the gravita of a Batman v Superman movie. So yeah. I understand that side of it, of why people were probably a little bit disappointed. Die! Alright, he died. So did I, but it's okay. Five minute enemies left. I just have to be smart. Um, Blue Beetle's really good. You should watch Blue Beetle. I go like about it. Yeah, go, go support uh, all of Hispanic communities and watch Blue Beetle. It's our. F <laughs> they finally gave us a hero, and now they're trying to take it away from us by saying like I didn't make much money. It's like, bitch, no DC movies making money. <laughs> but that's not an <laughs> that's an unfair thing to hold against a DC movie. Probably comparing it to a Marvel movie, like damn, this didn't make anything. Like okay. Yeah, but also Marvel movies ain't doing big business anymore. Not on the level think, that they were doing. Yeah, I think a lot of people like myself kind of tuned out after Endgame. I it mean, peaked yeah. back up a little bit for uh, No Way Home. That was really good. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. But I can... That's probably been the one thing that they've been trying to fight this entire time, is being like, yeah, what do we do now that we've ended it? And a lot of people are like, well, this is a good time to stop. It's like, no, wait, yeah. wait, wait, we have like 5,000 movie ideas. Are any of them good? What also really killed it for me is like... 
Strange 1 was like tied for like my favorite Marvel movie for a long time. Uh -huh. So I was really excited for 2 and it was not great. You weren't a fan of the of the Raimi style? It's not that. It's more so fact that and it's exactly what I was worried of as soon as all the shows started popping up is I pretty much have to have watched like WandaVision to fully understand uh, Strange 2 and hmm. I don't like that. Also, I really expected that to just crush you. Me too, but thank God they didn't crush me, huh? Okay. I see but that's all, that's another reason why I decided to tune out. Is yeah. I don't want to have to subscribe to a streaming service and watch a bunch of shows to understand the movies. Yeah, no, that's that's another thing they have to probably work on. Also, some of the shows have not been of a quality that is worth going for a streaming service for, so... It'd be one thing if they were yeah. all good, but not all of them are. So, I've definitely been following a case of like, eh. Do I watch every single movie? No. Do I watch every single movie? No. I just kind of see the ones that kind of interest me, and that's about it. It seems like it's been that way with just Disney Plus in general, from what I hear. Like, especially both, like, the Marvel shows and the Star Wars shows. They either just aren't good to begin with, or they start off good and fall off. You either get something like Mandalorian, or you get something that's not Mandalorian when it comes to Star Wars, basically. It's about the best you can hope for, is either you yeah. get Mandalorian, or you get nothing. And, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, but it is I the way it is. I kind of miss when I like Star Wars, not that I dislike it, but, like, the new content. <laughs> yeah, likely great. not for everyone. I'm about to fucking die. Uh, well. Unless I can find some health. Is health? Yeah. I don't know if you can... No. No, that's a turbo. Health, health was like a purple. No, that's also that not health. But that's not that purple, in. apparently, either. <laughs> oh, my God. Where the, where's the health pickups on this map? I found one of them, and then I've never been able to find it since. Well, maybe if I, if I stay far away from them long enough, they'll kill each other while I try and find some health. Until I run into oh, someone yeah. who's also looking for health. Uh, I think it was somewhere around here. There it is. Yeah, baby, back in the fight. I've got 2% of my health back. <laughs> That's enough to survive a single missile. I mean, I do have four special. Oh, damn it. It really doesn't help that my special is me throwing a fucking scythe. Yeah. So I need to have, like, the utmost accuracy or I just, like, lose. All right, it's okay, Mr. Grimm. You may be insane in the membrane, but that doesn't mean you can't win in a car combat game. Ha! Oh, and there... <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> calm down, guy. That is not going to hit him. Alright, I'm off. I need to go find more special. <laughs> At this point, I've realized the path to victory is stay back, try not to die, and pick up... the arena. Yes, until... Let them hit themselves and hurt themselves, and let me be over here picking up as much special that can deal half their damage in one go, so that when they do run into me, it'll be closer to their death than mine! Oh my god. Someone jumped right in front of me. It's all right. All right, I'm running. Satellite pickup. Please respawn health. It's all I'm asking for. I just need something, man. I can't die like this. <laughs> Not when I've come so close. I hear the I hear the machine gun. My time. Oh God. He's right on my back, isn't he? Live Mr. Bones reaction. <laughs> it, it, it is honestly needed to look and see what the hell's behind you. Because these dudes can just shoot you from out of nowhere. Right, let's see, is there anything here? No. We can hear the sick flute solo that's going on in the background of this, with the music, though. Die, person. Oh, God. There's a car right in front of me. I'm going to go over here. Nope. I'm going to go over here. Try and avoid him. Avoid the missile. Oh god, there's someone right by me. There we go. <gasps> Shit! 
Run, oh. Mr. Bones! Oh, there was health oh, that right was health. there! Did I miss it? Is it gone? Did he pick up the health? That's messed up. No, these computers are out playing me at my own game. How am I supposed surely to. Th surely this one's back. No! It, it might be Jover. Sweet Tooth has found me. At least I get to take out Junkyard Dog. I mean, that my plan of just like wait. Unfortunately, <laughs> a single missile got me, and that is it for me. Oh boy. You know what? Do you want to just look up Mr. Mr. Bones' story here and see the end yeah. of it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll pause and we'll look up at the rest of Mr. Bones' story right now. Hideo Kojima been real quiet since this <laughs> dropped. <laughs> We're here to see the ending of Mr. Grimm's video. Since I'm already editing things in here, I may as well go full force and see the ending of Mr. Grimm. This is what we cannot, I cannot finish, but here we go. It's going. This is the next cutscene where he takes down the boss, which is, I think, a giant tankard. So I would have died to that boss regardless. I hadn't thought about the war in years. All the drugs and therapy in the world. <laughs> Never get me to talk about what I went through. All my drugs in there. When I passed know. out, I couldn't escape it. Relax. The past that. came rushing back. <laughs> the way you said it is just funny. It is. 1971 again. It's 1971. And I was back in Nam. Back in Nam. Nam. No. Ben had gone down. It was just me, all alone, trying to revive him. <laughs> You've been shot shiny, in the heart. I had to realize. Trying to see if he was okay. Before I knew it, the enemy was on me. Y'all. He didn't have quick revive, that's fucked up. <laughs> he didn't. They put us into some stinking hole, 25 feet below the ground. And then he was in bad shape. I didn't know how long he was gonna hold out. Seems like forever I was screaming for someone to come and help him. Then Nobody one day, isn't. We had a visitor. The guy was an advisor to the Vietnamese. He had his own unique idea of torture. Starvation. Then he was on his last legs. I wasn't far behind. Five days I know where this is going. Food will bring any man to the edge. And the advisor said the only way I was going to survive was to eat. He gave me a knife and started laughing. He said if I wanted food, I'd have to make do with whatever I could find in the hole. I tried to block out what was happening. I knew what he wanted me to do, but there was no way I was going to give him the satisfaction. Benny died two days later. I couldn't look at him. I didn't even want to think about it. It's Cut to Benny looking like a giant survive. drumstick. <laughs> I think Benny would have understood. Benny would have wanted this. Oh, you taste so good, Benny. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> they say the mind bends and twists in order to deal with the horrors of life. I think my mind bent so much it snapped in two. He kept his, his skull? <laughs> That's where the skull comes when from? When a platoon of GIs freed me two weeks later, they tried to take the helmet off. I killed four of them before they took me down. After that, they shipped me back to the States and put me in the asylum. But now I have a chance to get even with the man who pushed me over the edge and made Benny die. Yeah, go get him. See, I told you this is filling for Halloween. <laughs> yeah. And there you go, you shoot down the greatest enemy of all time, a helicopter. The, the helicopter from DMC2. The helicopter that kept haunting 50 Cent and 50 Cent Blood in the Sands. <laughs> Turns out he was a man of his word. He told me it was time for a reunion. After all these years, the advisor looked exactly the same. He didn't know who I was, but I recognized him. You think he's going to eat him? I'd been seeing his face in my nightmares for 30 years. 30 years? Calypso had one more special prize for me. Dinner for one. He is gonna eat him. <laughs> Thirty years is a long time to be locked away. You get kind of tired of asylum food. 
But after all this time, something new was on the menu. As much as I hated to admit it, over the years I developed a special craving. <laughs> it's edited like the ending of a Saw movie. Twisted Metal Black. <laughs> so he eats that guy. <laughs> and that is the ending to Mr. Grimm's story. Uh, that's Twisted Metal Black. Thank you very much, uh, Toast, for joining us. For I, I was glad we were able to see Mr. Grimm's <laughs> ending. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bones. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bones. May you finally be satisfied in your meal. <laughs> I, don't, you... I don't want to think about his Thanksgiving. It would be terrifying. Oh, I would not want to ever invite Mr. Bones to Thanksgiving. It would be terrifying. Especially if you have anyone there named Benny or something. Uh, thank you very much for joining us once again for 13 Nights Toast. Hopefully you'll be back uh, next year. I would put you on in a video for any time of the year. It's just that I have to remember. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever want to join up for when I make a Persona 3 remake video, you're more than welcome to join Hell up there. Hell yeah. You can be there and uh, join join in the festivities. But Until next time, everyone, we'll keep on keeping on with 13 Nights, and that's it for Toast, though. To say goodbye, Toast. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Peace out, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.